Dr. Boyce Watkins fires back at Corey Holcomb after the comedian went at him for a comment Boyce made saying he didn't like Corey when he first met him. Here's what Corey had to say about Boyce right here. This this ass nigga uh, name um, Boyce Watkins. Where do I know that? Exactly. He's not memorable. I've seen that. I've I, heard of that. I feel, I feel like I've seen him uh, um, come in. Uh, uh, I'm at the whole ass face. nigga at Zoe show. Where he shook my hand and everything. And he left a comment on Willie D page talking about, first time I met him, I didn't like him. <laughs> I, did. I seen that comment. Now this is a cake ass nigga who has had employees of his say he f***ed over them with their money. Cause everybody want to make Corey the bad guy. Like Corey ain't shit. He got employees that say he f***ed them over with money. But this is the Boyce Watkins moment I want every real nigga to watch. Watch Boyce Watkins propose to old girl online. It is the most pathetic sh you ever seen in life. You know when you- that, brother. So, that night I went home and I wrote in my journal and I still have these words written down. I wrote, today I met the most beautiful woman in the world. And so here it is 20 some years later and I still think you're the most beautiful woman in the world. And so I thought that it would be cool to come to this very spot where I first met you. Yes. And get on my knee. Oh, Boyce. And say, Alicia Table McLaughlin X. I have uh, I've loved you so much since uh, I first met you. I think you are, you are, you are, you're giving me life. After a week went by, Boyce decided to respond via Instagram by posting this. Pay attention. Comedian Corey Holcomb helps us know the difference between a black man and a so-called real nigga. He also attached this caption to the post saying, Corey Holcomb is an example of the fact that black people have been fooled into thinking that losers are winners. He's a man who said he wishes death on the mother of his child. He is also a comedian, which unfortunately makes him a clown. The world loves to see the black man as a little boy, a little girl, a criminal, or a clown. What they do not want to see is the black man as intelligent or loving our women. I share this clip because I'm tired of us seeing ourselves as niggas and it's time for us to start seeing ourselves as men. I am very proud to love a black woman in public because we have too many rascally Negroes who've grown comfortable disrespecting black women as a collective and proudly running into the arms of women who embarrass us, harm us, steal our money and destroy us. Black men over the age of 32 have no excuse. If you always look at yourself as ignorant, backward, lacking, and as a child, you will forever be seen as the beta male to the white man's alpha. It's time to put that silliness to an end. Sincerely, Dr. Boyce Watkins. He also took to his comment section to say, I proudly love my wife. Black men need to see this instead of the backwards Negroes they love to put on TV. We need our black women and we also need our families, period. There were also some 5150 fans in the comments section. One of them said, I hate this because in my eyes, y'all both speak real talk on two different sides of the spectrum, which is needed and necessary. Somebody get Ja Rule on the phone so he can make sense of this. Boyce responded by saying, when he wished death on his child's mother, that's when I learned we are not the same. And lastly, somebody said, Boyce, you better cool out. You don't want those kind of problems. 5150 don't play. To which Boyce replied, neither do I. So what y'all think about Boyce's response to Corey Holcomb? Let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like and subscribe to the GMS show. I'll see y'all later.